Good day guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And uh, my name is Ademola Badmos. I'm so excited, so let's just get straight into what we want to do today. So in this case, we want to start using our um using custom commands. So what custom commands allows us to do is uh, it allows us to bypass using um, a page object. Uh, it allows us to have an improved version of a page object modeling instead of creating object files and creating lots of lists, lots of uh, object files. You can create those particular objects, everything you want to do as a native command, which you can include into the Cypress uh, preprocessor such that before your scripts begins to run, is those commands are compiled and it works for you. So um, there is um, what's the code that we can follow here. There is a um, there is a sample that you can follow if you want to create a command. So we are going to look into our code and probably just create two out of it right now, so we don't waste much time. Please, if this is your first time, please do not forget to like and subscribe. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to create two for now. I'm going to create the click function and also the type function. And I'm going to include them in, I'm going to show you what was really different when you're using TypeScript. So here I would say Cypress, that's the command you first write there. You say commands dot um, add. Then let's say we want to add click element. Click element and um, we say we put the value of the element that we want to click so what does what this means is basically we can use this particular command to click any element as long as we have the element identifier so that's the default command but we can add a chainable command to it let's change like something to verify what we've done so we can say should exist right so in this case we have created this so the squiggly lines that we are seeing can be removed quickly let me just quickly make it so let me just quickly write it myself so you can see it so we can say declare namespace you create a namespace right declare namespace cypress and inside the namespace you create an you create a chainable interface just like this right and that sums that up so what you need to do now is uh, we need to put this here this particular command name we put it here click element and then we instruct it to uh, identify the type of element we are clicking the data type so we say element is um, a string data type and um, we can uh, it's chainable right so at this point let me just put um, let's say void so this means that uh, we can use this to click any element so i'm going to copy this and modify because I want us to be as fast as possible. So this one, I would say, type a text, a text. And this time around, we will need the field, the text field, and also the actual text. So here we say, get the field, get the field, then, um, Instead of click type the text okay so we can copy then paste this and all we just need to do is change the command name to this then specify the value of this this field the value is um, a string right and so is also the text the text too is also a string so we can leave it this way 
rather than create two separate ones we can type it this way and um, we'll be good so let's try to use them so in this case we can since we are clicking here we can call this one click element so it's up is automatically shown and we'll remove this and it will be clicking the element for us as we expect and this one is a uh, we call it type a text so in type a text we need two fields which would be this and this we need two parameters rather not fields we need two parameters so we can do that too to this type a text and we add the two parameters that are needed two arguments that are needed and um, let's do this for the last part too then we test type so excuse me type text and um, we also remove that <clears throat> and um, lastly click elements and we remove the click behind it okay so with this done let's test our script and see if it works um, you see still works as expected so which means we have been able to successfully create custom commands so you can imagine <clears throat> we have saved ourselves the headache of writing longer lines of codes and all of that i am a lazy scripter so to speak so i like to take uh, the shortest cut i can take I, I can that can be presented to me at all times so there you have it these are things that you can do around um um, um typescript with cypress so um every other thing follows the same and um ideally i would actually stop here because the same um, steps you would take for bdd um is still the same thing but i remember that in the bdd i did in um the bdd i did in the um cypress 10 version i didn't touch base on data tables so i'm going to repeat two things here i'm going to do uh, a normal bdd scenario then i'm going to do a scenario outline then i'll now do a data table you can use a data table in your bdd steps so and after that i will push this to github and i would <clears throat> also incorporate a github workflow so in essence what i'm trying to say is that we have like three to four playlists at the most left to complete this series so if you've gotten this far with me please do not forget to like and subscribe and see you in the next video bye bye